have really excited us. This is a, a, a clash of styles, it really is. Got the very confident Rangers up against the, the very patient uh, Japanese side, Kashiro Ray. So, great atmosphere in the stands over there. Look. <laughs> Loads of girls and boys cheering on the both teams. We've got the old Rangers fans, they've got a the couple of flags, haven't they? Rangers loyal or Doha loyal. What a noise, what a racket, by the way. What's going on? <laughs> Yeah, one of the Rangers fans has actually got a loud hailer, by the way, so that could get a little bit interesting later on. But it's Kashiwa with some early possession. And the ball's run out of play over on that far side. Henderson winning the throw for Rangers. He's so impressed with Rangers in this tournament, but I'll tell you what, no, you want to come across a style like this, what Kashiwa are, are going to play today. Really is something different. Technically sound. Here we go. Nakajima, great run into the box, well tracked by McClelland. And the game's first corner goes the way of Kashiwa Raisol. And talking to one or two of the coaches earlier on from Rangers, saying that they probably have to adapt their style a little bit today to cope with Kashiwa, which you wouldn't normally expect. Normally, teams will go out and play their own game, but there's something just a little bit different about the way, about the way these Japanese teams do it. I think the result the two went over Real Madrid has just put, you know, it's just got people thinking because Real Madrid with a strong side. Oh. Corner bouncing around, space at the back, blocked away by Nathan Youngcoombs. Well, we more expect him to be danger at the other end of the field, but he's got back there on defensive duty and needed to be in the right place as well. Shot was from Tanaka, the central defender. Corner taken short. To Tamura. Well played by Henderson. We're expecting a fast start from Rangers, and we, we've got it from Kashiwa Raisal. We're going back to that 2 0 win over uh, Real Madrid for Kashiwa in the previous round. It just uh, got people thinking, didn't it? Rangers, uh, sorry, uh, Real Madrid, very strong side, always are in this tournament. For the second goal there, Kashiwa really tore Real Madrid apart. Early pressure from the side in yellow. It's no foul. Now Rangers may be able to move the ball out, but once again, cut out in that midfield area by Shigawara. Toda. Toda, the captain, once again, looking to thread it through for Nakajima. Too much pace on the ball and behind for a goal kick, but a good start by Kashiwa. Very positive start. Well, they're just pushing up now, the pressure is in Rangers, Rangers trying to get out from the back. <laughs> Young Coombs. So, go on, then. Really exciting prospect, Nathan oh. Young Coombs, he's got Lyle outside well him. Otake wins the corner, good running. By well, the man who joined recently from Chelsea. That's what he gives you up, running power, Coombs. Absolute nightmare to play against if you're a defender. Never stops running. Good skill as well. So Rangers first corner of the game. Everybody back for Kashiwa. Watch Rangers working on some quarter routines this morning. Back to Miller. Look at the yellow shirts, and all back there, aren't they? Making it so difficult for Rangers to pick out a, a forward pass. Kennedy. Young Coombs. Kennedy trying to weave his way through, just too many yellow shirts in front of him, and runs comfortably through to Sasaki in goal for Kashiwa Raisol. I mean, it was, it was good play from Coombs and Kennedy, and they linked up quite well, but there's just so many yellow shirts back there. Just crowds you out. Screams go up on the far side. It's like the, like the Beatles have come to town. <laughs> I was just about to say, not that I've been to one, but it probably like been at a Justin Bieber concert, as you'd imagine. Very high pitched. Now, we understand the Rangers players back in Scotland may well be watching this all as a group. I understand they finished training early. It's a short pass. Yeah, by Budenashkis.
which had never dealt the attitude of the Kashiwa play, uh, players yet. They've been here for four years now, and they know this tournament inside out, and each year they seem to get better. They reached the final last year, quietly confident of going to the final this year, maybe going one better and winning it. So it's going to be a really tough occasion here today for the Rangers players. And they've always reached the quarter-finals in the past, Kashiwa. Beaten a couple of times by Real Madrid, but getting the better of the Spaniards this time in the last eight. Rangers got off to that fine start, beating Raja Club 3-0. They were beaten by Aspire Academy in the second match. But then that 7-0 win over a twine in the quarter-finals. They were only 1-0 up at half-time, remember, but scored a couple of quick-fire goals at the start of the second half and never looked back. Young Coombs with a 17-minute hat-trick. The key came off the bench and scored an 18-minute hat-trick. Still no Ross McCausland, by the way, in the Rangers' side. He got concussion in the Aspire Academy match and also bruised his ribs and strained the ligaments in his hand as well as he tried to brace his fall. See, they're happy now, Kashiwa Ray Sol, they're happy for Rangers have the ball here. Make the move in a minute. There's pressure coming. Got the good to Real Madrid. Saito. Little chip through. Very nearly runs for Nakajima. Couldn't bring it down. Budanowskis comfortably gathers, but good movement again by Kashiwa Raisol. And they pounced on it again in midfield. He won it in midfield, and then it's sharp passing. The forward pass there just cuts through the Rangers' defence. It's just a poor first touch. In. Nakajima, he was in then. Now they start coming up the pitch. O'Connor. It's uh, Lyle. Young Coombs. Just been forced out wide, he's got support from O'Connor. Kennedy will retrieve that one. Henderson going on the overlap, hoping to take a fullback with him. I think the plan for Rangers was to try and get men wide and try and stretch the back four, get Fujimoto and Atake, the two fullbacks wide, which might leave some gaps for the two inside forwards if you like to come through. As you can see, that two solid banks of four for Kashiwa. Here's Kennedy. Good play. Oh, he's done well, Kennedy. This is a great run. Still going. Just stopped by Shigawara on the edge of the penalty area. Henderson. Played in Graham Murty's development squad a few months ago. Kai Kennedy came off the bench and earned great praise from the development squad coach. Another player that's already trained with the first team. Suddenly get a chance, don't they, now, at Rangers, <coughs> with Stephen Gerrard <coughs> in charge. It's five, six players that have already made the debut, so I've been told. So if you do well, you're going to get a chance at Rangers, which is always great to see. Yeah, Ross McCrory is one of those youngsters who came through, had an excellent performance in the recent Old Firm game. Played over 40 times now for Rangers. Glenn Middleton as well is another who joined the academy. Young came through, scored in the Europa League recently against Spartak Moscow. Spartak in this tournament as well, of course. Shigawara. They move the ball about so well, don't they, Kashiwa? Slip passing. It's OK, just beaten to the ball by O'Connor. Manuel Fernandez, the Real Madrid coach, just in front of us, looking to find himself a seat. His side were beaten, of course, by Real Madrid. Madrid will play in the fifth and sixth place match tomorrow against Spartak Moscow. Second quarter of the game for Kashiwa. We've got good height in the side with Tanaka and Sugawara. So he pulls a threat from these set pieces themselves. 
Lyle. Now, Rangers on the break. This is where they can be dangerous. They break with great pace. Good support here, Lyle. Just waiting for the blue shirts to come forward. He's done well. Drop with the shoulder. He's done well. Can he pull it back? Comes off Otake, who clears the ball away. He did Rangers really... do break with great pace. He did really well there, Lyle. He just slowed it down, just waiting for a couple of blue shirts to come into the picture. And then he went out full back again and beat him. He was unlucky with the cross. Miller. Dixon. Patient from Rangers. So as soon as that ball went back, bump and out, sets off, don't they, Cash? You He's going for the, set, uh, the, the starting point, that would trigger it. That's really well after that. Now they settle back in the end, everyone behind the ball. So it's so difficult for the Rangers man when you look up, you see all those yellow shirts ahead of you, trying to pick out a forward pass. She were qualified for the quarter-finals with just a point from their group. They drew their opening game with PSG. It was a 91st-minute equaliser from Maia that rescued a point. They were beaten by AS Roma, but managed to go through in the group with PSG, finishing bottom, the defending champions. That 2-0 win over Real Madrid in the quarter-finals. What score was that? Oh, yeah, we go, here we go. Yunku was just putting Sasaki under pressure. Otake. What score was that Roma game? 2-0. Uh, scored a, was it a 94th minute penalty, I think very late penalty Roma scored in the game. 1-0 up to that point, Tueto Fotso came off the bench to get that late penalty. What, oh, the yeah. 93rd minute, 94th yeah. minute? Yeah. What an occasion for the, the Rangers players. Debut in this tournament. Hopefully, they've enjoyed it. Um, another challenge to face the date, something they haven't, I presume they haven't encountered before this style of play. In Casual Race Hall. And that's what helps the players develop. Well, we've talked about it a lot in this tournament, playing against different types of teams and teams from different countries and different continents. Dixon, Thompson, Miller, Henderson outside him, but Kennedy rather, Henderson going on ahead. Dixon, O'Connor. This is where they frustrate you, Kashir, where they get those eight players back behind the ball and just very, very difficult to find any sort of space to work through. Now they just work the way up the pitch. Trying those little passes. It's a great little ball. It's a fantastic click ball with that. Shimizu. Good tackling back by McKinnon. Well done, McKinnon. There he is again. There he is again. Otake, working hard through midfield ranges. Todda, Tamura, not a foul. Yeah, I love it, they take in tight areas, these Kashiwa players, they give each other great angles. When, they, when somebody lands on the ball, a yellow shirt lands on the ball, his teammates always showing all over the pitch, they always have options. And the Rangers fans, enjoying the sunshine. Seen a goal yet? Tamura still going just out the reach of Shimizu. Sayeto has a foul, just had his arm across Lyle. So be a free kick to Rangers. So it's been really interesting looking at some of the comments online as well. That the Rangers fans have really been taken by this team, and particularly the performance and the finishing the other day, all taken to 
Twitter and various other social media forms to praise some of these young players. Brilliant. That's what we want. A little bit of feedback. Let me judge a few people. You see one of the guys. He's got his suit on, he must come straight from work. <laughs> They recently had a, a big cash injection as well from the Rangers Youth Development Company, £400,000 donated to the academy. To be a big help in bringing players through, like the players we've seen today. Well, O'Connor. They, they have been very impressive, haven't they, in this tournament? Young Coombs. Lyle. Again, his way to goal blocked. Might get a chance of a cross, though. O'Connor. He's causing the problems now. That's a great ball into the box. Second ball's now. No great height in there. Young Coombs had just pulled out to this near side, so it wasn't really a target. Kennedy. Henderson. McKinnon. The likes of Kai Kennedy, Lyle, Coombs, have all got a trick in them. They can because the Kashi were defenders' problems today. This could be something different. O'Connor. Happy to go back to the halfway line to McClelland. Rangers captain. Yeah, one steps out for Kashi and then they all step out as a, as a unit. Really good defending, there we go. Now they're trying to rush to the halfway line. Well McKinnon again. Lyle. Great diagonal run from McKinnon, working really hard in midfield. Here's Kennedy. Again, too many yellow shirts between him and goal to get a shot on target. Yeah, he just couldn't, he just couldn't find the gap to get his shot off. But I think he enjoys all those little situations there, Kai Kennedy, when he's surrounded by the opposition players and he's not much room to manoeuvre, but somehow he does. Finds a little bit of space. Great awareness. Cleland. This is where they step up now, look. <laughs> Foul by Todd on Henderson. Here's Dixon. If you are just joining us for the first time, by the way, and you wonder why we have a female referee, the FIFA referees that are here are all on a seminar for the Women's World Cup that takes place later in the year, so getting some practice. We're using VAR as well, which hopefully we won't be needed today. There have been a couple of, well, quite a few VARs, some of them good, some of them not so good. Little band of Kashiwa fans are here every match, it doesn't matter when it is. And they'll be hoping to see their side go one better, having lost in the final to, uh, to uh, PSG last year. They've grown in numbers, haven't they? These are three girls, and <laughs> it's become quite popular <laughs> in the following of uh, Cashwood over the last couple of years. AS Roma against the Spire Academy is the second semi final a little bit later on this evening. Another interesting matchup. Fujimoto. Toda. Tanaka. Trying to play it into the path of Saito. Well defending by McClelland. Canada's in space. Young Coombs on the chase. Sasaki's come a long way out of his area. Oh, God, don't foul him, don't foul him. That's a foul. That's a foul on Coombs. It is a foul on Coombs. The assistant referee was right next to that. That's what he gives you. You've always got the option of knocking it over the top if you if you are the, uh, struggling as a defender. Coombs latches onto that ball straight away and he's got the pace to trouble the defenders. 
Always got the beating of the defenders in that situation. Just comes on the blind side there, the keeper doesn't see him. He got through the defence a couple of times against Etoile, the second goal, that the wonderful chip finish over the goalkeeper was from that very sort of ball. David McCallum, quick to appeal. There's Manuel Fernandez, the Real Madrid coach. Could have been his side here, of course. We've just seen Mr. Altabelli in the stands again. He's been here every day on the World Cup winner with Italy. Yeah, former Inter Milan legend, Altabelli. He's presented the MVP a couple of times while he's been here as well. Kai Kennedy with a free kick for Rangers. Still 0-0 in the first semi-final. In towards Young Coombs. Away by Toda. Not very far. Oh. But it's McKinnon shot. Yeah. He's a little bit rushed with the shot. And in the end, couldn't keep it down. Just seeing number 11 out on the edge of the box now. Good first touch. Maybe under a little bit of pressure. Just over the bar. Well done, Rangers. Yeah. Wondering how the pitch sent. It's been interesting staying at the, the same hotel as well as the Rangers team. They're a, a very good unit, very close knit group. You have to see them around the hotel in little groups. Managed to go out and do some cultural stuff around in Doha the other day when they'd had a day off after the, after the quarter-final win. I say it's not just about the football, is it, these tournaments? It's about oh, being it's in a group and sort of sharing a room with someone and that kind of stuff that, you know, will help breed success for the future. It's a ten days bonding with the guys, isn't it? Always helps when you win it. Well, you've talked to him, Nick, some of his top to the players, we really enjoyed it, the time over there, haven't they? as well as the coaching staff. I don't think everybody works hard, haven't they? Yeah. Well, they have to train. Specific training slots allocated. Out this morning, weren't they? Working on yep, set pieces. Working on some set pieces this morning, quite early on. Here's Lyle. Trying to thread it through for Young Coombs. O'Connor just gets in front of Saito. Nakajima. See that, Jima, no interest in going forward or sideways, wanted to go back so they can start again, cash you up. We're over halfway through the first half already, it seems to have flown by. So intriguing, that's why. Clash of styles. Can they move the ball, the movement here, cash you up. Little tight passes. Now they stretch it. Down the line looking for Tamura. Miller's there with the cover. Now Kennedy. Go on then. Just keeps the ball in play. He's got Young Coombs up ahead of him. McKinnon racing through the centre. Here is Young Coombs. The box, get in the box. Pulls it back to Kennedy. This is the sort of range he likes to get a shot in. Took a deflection. He goes. Well, it has gone for a corner. Good that by Rangers. Turn defence into attack. Get up the pitch. He forced the corner. Good to see when Coombs landing on the ball out wide. There was, there was blue shirts racing forward as well. Kinnan and Lyle trying to get in the box as well as Kai Kennedy. It's flicked off the head of Sugawara. And McKinnon's one of those players, he doesn't sometimes have a lot of the ball, but his movement off the ball just creates those little spaces. He takes defenders with him. Those goals are noticed, but they'll pop up with a goal. He Put him in the top five goals for this tournament so far. Wonderful half volley that he scored early in the tournament. A great goal, Rangers' first goal against Raja. That's a, again, just a bit of pressure coming from Cashew and then as soon as it landed the field. Dixon, two yellow shirts put him under pressure. Tamura. Fujimoto.
I think he's about Kashua. Any stage of this match will be rush. Even in the last ten or five minutes. Normally as a player you think, come on, we can get a winner there or let's push on. And just keep playing the same way all the way through. Not phased by the fact Rangers were trying to keep them pegged back. Sasaki, look at that. Great angles, great touches, the movement is fabulous off the ball as well. Rangers players came to watch the first half of the quarter final. Kashiwa Real Madrid. Here's Young go. Coombs. McKinnon in the centre. If he can play back, it. it's McKinnon! Good save, Sasaki. Not too sure the header was going under the bar anyway, but the goalkeeper taking no chances. But the best chance of the match so far goes Rangers' way. Yeah, it was old Connor who, who stole the ball on the halfway line and just punched it forward with a header. Next thing, Coombs on the ball. This is a wonderful cutback. Just lobs it to the far post from McKinnon. And he maybe he just gets up a little bit too early there. He's coming down when he has the ball and it's a, a good height for the keeper. A great play from Rangers. Kennedy with the corner. There's the one towards the edge of the box. Away by Tamura. Yeah, he goes, he goes unnoticed on him, McKinnon. That's thing, he's just ghosted into the box. Gets in good goal scoring positions. There is again McKinnon, tried to give it back to O'Connor, but out of play for a Kashiwa throw. That's the best chance of the semi-final so far. So I think you're right, he just got up a little early, didn't he, McKinnon? Time for, Ra yeah, time for Rangers to press, here we go. It's a wonderful ball. Sanaka there, the big centre half for Ashley Race, all the pink boots on. Lyle trying to weave his way through, stopped by Shigawara. Otake. Nakajima. Otake. Tanaka. The Rangers remodeled their academy some four years ago now, and it's certainly changes that are, are working for the best. They've changed the way they play as well. They want to be playing teams from other countries, from Europe, other continents as well. I know the under 16s are going to Abu Dhabi for a tournament next month. So at all so levels, teams are involved there. You know, I'm not sure which other it's teams good. are there, but if it's Abu Dhabi, it's going to be teams from. International team, oh, it was a great opportunity for the kids, in exactly. it? Exactly. Nice to see Craig Mulholland, the head of the academy here as well. The man who's been instrumental in changing things around. And he knows that Steven Gerrard is Got a firm belief in creating a, a big pathway for new talent coming through. You've only got to look at some of the players that he's given chances to already since he's been manager at Rangers, and it's, it's working well for them as they get back into the Scottish Premiership. Rangers bench, up to five of those substitutes could be used during the course of the match. They still know McCausland, who is still suffering for a little bit of concussion. I mean, this may stands packed as well today, and it's full of scouts taking notes and coaches. You never know who's watching here. Being out there on the pitch. Tanaka. Once again, goes all the way back to Sasaki. Given away to Lyle. Trying to get away from Saito. Got Kennedy available. McKinnon. O'Connor, early ball in, wasn't properly dealt with by Shugawara. Rangers trying to keep some pressure on.
Kennedy. Again, Henderson trying to take a defender out wide with him. Miller. Dixon. She will sit and just soak up this sort of pressure all day, yeah. knowing that Rangers at the moment can't find much space where it matters. O'Connor. Lyle. Went back by Atake. Yeah, we're just over the half on back, and it's just settled down now, hasn't it? The game with spent a two, the pace has just dropped. The players just have a little bit of a breather. Jima just runs the ball out of play. Settle down in Kashiwa, but as an attacking force, we're not offering much at the moment. It's Rangers are on the, the front foot. They've already opened up Kashiwa a few minutes ago. Great combination play between Coombs and McKinnon. So Rangers are looking more dangerous out of the two sides at the moment. Tanaka. Saki under pressure, but. Clears only as far as Henderson. Kennedy just took his eye off the ball slightly. <laughs> Tanaka. Oh, what a touch on the ball. Saito. Shimizu, uh, Nakajima rather, Shimizu in the middle. Shugawara. Went for the long range shot, but was well off target. Yeah, all of a sudden, you think they're out of the game and they're, they're retreating and they're defending, and not much happening for Kashiwa and all of a sudden, they're at the other end of the pitch, they do look dangerous all of a sudden. They create that many chances, but when they do create a chance, they're quite lethal. There's a chance for McKinnon. Just gets up a tad too early. And he knows it himself by going off that reaction. At least he, he did hit the target with his head up. So he found the, found the space to get the header in as well, yeah, which would be, movement, a, yeah. be a positive to take. O'Connor, Young Coombs on towards Lyle. Oh, he's done well. Uh, good defending again, Fujimoto coming across. Important interception. Fujimoto again. Okahara. Over the top towards Nakajima, good header by McClelland. Need to thread that one through for Tamora. Away by Henderson. Kennedy. Well played Fujimoto, got a good foot in. Nakajima. Straight at the goalkeeper, no problem for Budinowskis. Any time they get anywhere near the Rangers box, the noise level goes up from the stands over there. Why are they all cashing the fans? <laughs> it's rather high-pitched, whoever they're supporting. <laughs> Still goalless then, 34 minutes gone, just over in the first semi-final. It's the eighth edition of the Alcas International Cup here at Aspire Zone. A very cagey affair between these two it's been so far. Rangers have had the best chance. McKinnon's header, which was tipped over by Sasaki. Here goes Lyle. Lovely ball through. Young Coombs, only one in the centre, comes off Tanaka. Delightful little ball by Lyle and St. Coombs free. Just when you think he's got time to put a cross in, and a yellow shirt comes out of nowhere and blocks it. Kennedy. Miller. Yeah. 
Rangers Academy was inspected recently by some of the top European inspectors and picked up 88%, which is certainly the best in Scotland and one of the best, best, better than the average around Europe as well. So it just shows the, if you get part of the facilities, just the general facilities, I'm guessing, right. and well, the whole aspects of the academy. The positives for all those involved. Kennedy. Miller. Get a second opportunity. Dixon. Kennedy. Once again, he's got Henderson on the overlap. Back to Kennedy. Those yellow shirts, every single one, bar one, back behind the ball. And then Young Coombe straight into the arms of Sasaki. Oh dear. There's a chance for Young Coombe. Oh, Lyle gets the goal. What a mistake by Kashiwa. And the man who scored, having got to the second half in the match against the Trois, has got the goal here. It's Aaron Lyle. Oh, it's a slip by Shugawara. I mean, he's rolling the ball out, the goalkeeper in his own box there. Talk about all being confident. Great pressure from Rangers, mind you. And Lyle just slips it past the goalkeeper, wrong foots him. And that could be the difference today. They've opened the score and it was crucial for Rangers to do that today. It means Cashew would have to come out at some stage of the match. There might be gaps that might open up later in the match now for Rangers. Shin Yamanaka. A little bit more vocal as the normal. But what an error by Kashiwa to gift the opening goal of the game to Rangers. Tanaka. Saito. Lyle. What a mistake by Kashiwa Reiso, but Rangers won't be worrying about that. Young Coombs, Lyle, Young Coombs. Oh, nicely done. Brilliantly volleyed across. Just too far ahead of McKinnon. Kept in by Kennedy. Oh. McKinnon. Oh. Sure, his own teammate didn't get in the way there, Young Coombs. Here's Nakajima. So what I'll put that down as a chance there. It was a great cross back to McKinnon. I don't know, I don't know whether Coombs got in front of him or not, but it was brilliant play in the first place by Young Coombs to lift the ball over Ataki. Something special. Keep your concentration now. Gets a half time on that clean sheet now. For the Rangers player. Sliced into the crowd for a throw by Thompson. Those are the people making all the noise on that far side. Players have achieved rock star status all of a sudden. Bishiwa on the attack. Good block by McClelland. Attack eight. Saito. Shugawara, the man who slip led to the goal. Otake. Nakajima. Weaving away through, gets a shot in Budanowskis. Safe pair of hands. Had his body right behind that one. Lewis Budanowskis. About five minutes away from half time, got to switch on now. Good Avengers player. Try not to allow any gaps, it is difficult, you know what I mean, with the ball so quickly. Kashiwa. Can you take that land balls? Well then, back to Budinowskis, good clearance up to halfway. Just over Young Coombs though. Tanaka not it back, Tamura. Good foot in by Miller. Henderson. Away again by Budinowskis. His dad was a goalkeeper, played for Partick Thistle with coach David McCallum at the, the time he was there. Young Coombs.
Kennedy. Coombs is on, pulls it back. Lifted up, just too high for Dixon, and comfortable for Sasaki. Bit of a teaser from Coombs then. He joined Chelsea from Crystal Palace before moving north to join Rangers. He was a big coup, he was very highly rated when he was at Chelsea, but Rangers delighted to secure his services. So many London boys go up there, even as a kid here. Well, it's a little bit of a role reversal. Rangers had a, a young player called Billy Gilmore who signed for Chelsea. He's currently playing in their reserve team, despite only being 17, so... Rangers probably feeling they've got one back on Chelsea a little bit. That's Here's the goal. Uh, what a mistake to me. Well done, Lyle. Great anticipation. Cool finish at the end of it as well. It's low and hard. And it's not what you expect from the Japanese. You can't legislate for a slip, of course, but most unusual to see them make errors in their fine, own final third of the field. Here's Tamura. Uh, Tanaka, rather. Saito. Tamura. Fujimoto outside him. Shugawara, almost caught in possession by Young Coombs, and he has been caught in possession. Well played, Kennedy's through here, just comes off Okihara. Kennedy taking on Tamura. Shaping for the shot, takes a deflection, plucked out of the air by Sasaki. Good play again by Young Coombs to win the ball back on the halfway line. Two and a half minutes to go to half time. It's been a very good first half of very technical football between two very good teams. Saito. Tanaka. Tamura. Spinning away. In the middle. Saito. Well cut out again by O'Connor. Kennedy, great leap. Young Coombs. Oh, he's got the wrong side of Okihara. Still going here. Young Coombs. Oh, oh he's found a way through. And he's done it once again. Sasaki beaten for a second time. And the power on the shot from Nathan Young Coombs had enough to beat his goal, the goalkeeper. Four goals in the tournament for the highly rated youngster. And the Rangers fans can celebrate once again. He is proving to be a real handful for defence, he's Nathan Young Coombs. A goal all of his own making, it's 2-0. Talk like about having a picture in your head. As soon as he gets the ball, he gets his head down, he's running at that Kashua defence. Heads towards goal, keeps his shot down. Well done, Coombs. He's so attack-minded. Maybe the keeper could have done better, but it doesn't matter. Too much pace on the ball, beats the keeper. There we go. 2-0 to Rangers. Wow, fantastic scoreline to help into the half-time with. Well, we knew we'd have a new name on the trophy this year. David McCallum and his coaching staff can celebrate on the sidelines, but are we going to have at least one new team in the final? Nakajima. Kishiwa really need to come out now and attack. It's not something that's come a second nature to them. Kennedy. Oh. Young Coombs again, just getting stretched now, the Kashiwa defence. That's what he loves, Coombs. The ball in front of him so he can run onto it. Here's Kennedy. Presses the accelerator, the ball bounces off Kennedy, might get a second chance and wins the corner. Good play again from Rangers. Yeah, they've deserved it, they've, they've been on the front foot for most of this first half, they've created the better chances. I would say 2 nils probably about right. Shin Yamanaka went storming along his technical area to the, the furthest corner or the closest corner to his goal. You can just see him there at the bottom of the picture. 
so unlike him. Well, the referee decides that that's half-time, so there's no time to take the corner, no added time. But what a first half for Rangers. But it was a mistake that gifted them the first goal, Aaron Lyle. But there's nothing wrong with the second goal from the man just chatting to the referee there, Nathan Youngcombs. Just questioning, I think, why they weren't allowed to take the corner. It was a slip from Sugawara that allowed in Lyle for the first goal. But it's been very much about Rangers being patient and catching Kashiwa where it hurts. And the Japanese runners-up from last year have work to do in the second half if they're to get themselves back into this one. Been a fascinating match as we thought it might be. And there's another 45 minutes to come. Plus another semi-final. It really is a, a wonderful day's football here at Aspire Zone. Kashiwa, well supported again. Lots of screaming schoolgirls on the far side as well. The Rangers made a promising start. Nathan Youngcombs was a constant threat, getting a foul there from Sasaki. And Kennedy always looking to shoot from around the edge of the penalty area. That one just deflected wide for a corner. McKinnon went close. Brilliant header tipped over the top by the goalkeeper. May have been just jumping a little bit early, but the goal came after a slip by Shugawara. And Aaron Lyle slipped it beyond Sasaki to make it 1-0 to Rangers. And then Nathan Youngcombs with a solo effort, bursting beyond the defender and had enough power on the shot to beat Sasaki to give Rangers a second goal. And the man signed recently from Chelsea, really endearing himself to his new set of supporters. Rangers had more of the ball in that first half. They had more shots. And we'll see what the second half brings as Kashiwa look to try and get back into this one. Half-time Rangers lead Kashiwa Racel by two goals to nil. نحلق بأحلامنا في سماء الخيال نمضي نحو المستقبل بكل ثقة في مسيرة من التلاحم ومدى يحين الوقت ستصبح هذه الأحلام حقيقة حقيقة تعكس إنجازاتنا طوال السنين ليولد الحلم ولنفي بوعدنا بتحقيقه
Well, at half time, it is Rangers Football Club 2, Kashiwa Race of Japan 0. What a performance by Rangers. Nick Summer will be back alongside me in the studio. Everything you expected from Rangers, they delivered and more. Absolutely. Great game of football by both sides. Uh, and it's like a game of chess, uh, but, but Rangers patient. Uh, they, they've had that drummed into them. They kept going. They were more positive. Uh, Coombs is causing a problem, as we said at the start. And they got the goal. And, and the good thing is, is they pounced on, on a mistake which you would never think would happen to Casual Race or trying to play out from the back, bit of a slip. But it's the way they reacted to it, Rangers. You know, they were on it straight away and, and they deserved the goal, you've got to say it. They're very, very difficult not to crack, you know, the, you've got to keep going, keep going, and they did do that. And I'm talking about being positive and trying things, and they kept trying to do that. This is a mistake here now, but Lyle just jumps onto it. You know, he doesn't, he doesn't give him that second to get up and try and do something about it before you know it's in the back of the net. Yeah, Sugawara caught out there, and as you say, it's, it is a slip, but it's that old playing out the back and that insistence of wanting to push everything up from the back. Yeah, but they're, 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 Rangers are playing on the front foot. That's why they've got the goal. You know, they're on them straight away. I think they were trying to stop them playing out from the back at certain parts of the of the first half, and they got the reward for it. There's a great atmosphere there. There's a lot of fans from Cashew in the corner. Mm. Uh, there's a good bunch of Rangers fans there as, as well. It's a proper game of football. Mm. You know, Rangers are winning 2-0, and, you know, you've got to give them great credit. You know, they, they've come out to win a game of football today and against a very difficult opposition. And they've gone in at half time with, with, with it 2 0 up, and they're looking comfortable as well. You know, don't come back, don't take it easy. I don't think they're going to do that for a second. Keep pushing forward. How, how difficult is it as, as a player when you play against a side like Kashiwa Racel to, to, to keep focused and, and to stay patient? Because we've seen Kashiwa Racel break many sides down, including Real Madrid in the last round. They just make it tough, you don't have it your own way. But this is a great test for the players, which hopefully will go through to play in the first team. Here it is again. So, as you say, they're on the front foot, yeah, they're there, they're putting the pressure on high press. If they're, if they're not being positive, Rangers, and they're just, just letting them have the ball and we'll get off to the halfway line, you've got no chance. So they're on the front foot, they're trying to stop them and they've got the reward for it. You know, a little bit of a slip there, you know, which you didn't think would happen, but as soon as that slip's done, it's in the back of the net straight away. You know, and that's, and, and that's, and that's an initiative. And, that's thinking, come on, hang on a minute. That's thinking, hang on a minute. They might make a mistake here and I will push on. Well, they did make a mistake and it's in the back of the net. OK, uh, the second goal came uh, just before half-time as well. I mean, it couldn't... It's in dreamland at this point. What's my word, which I've been using all the way... Anticipate, from... Nick. Well, can I just tell you, that's got you your first goal, anticipation. Yeah. And then what this is, Coons, what a player he is, by the way. He's, he's getting better and better. And what I like about this is, as soon as it opens up and there's space in front of him, He's running at the space and I'm going to get my shot in. And he gets his shot in with some fantastic power with his left foot. You know, you can understand why there's so many clubs which are looking at this lad. You know, Rangers, uh, Rangers are very fortunate to, fortunate to have him. And Stephen Gianna will be watching this, you know, and all of a sudden be thinking, hang on a minute, so let's get him in the old training with the first team a little bit now, because this boy looks like he could cause a lot of problems. Kai Kennedy, who's playing today, already trains with, with the first team. And that's what you said when you came in. I wouldn't be surprised to see him in the first team this season, having a run out. What are the qualities that make him so special for you? Well, it's his movement. It's, he's looking all the time to get an angle. And he works hard. You know, he's not, he's not frightened of, of, of doing the dirty stuff, of chasing, of, of, of making it difficult for defenders. But at the same time, is when the ball's there, he's always looking. It's very difficult to see him on the television. It's what he does away from the ball. He's looking to get in behind, get in front. He's all, if you're a defender, you're thinking, Where's, what's, what's he going? Where's he going next? Is he going in behind? You know, and he, he's constantly working and looking for a little bit of an angle. Mm. Once the players... Uh, learn how to give him the ball and when to give him the ball, he'll get more opportunities. And I tell you what, you say that he gets back and he does other the dirty stuff as well. And that, it was just a shaky start by, by Rangers. And who was back there? That was Coombs. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, they're just a little bit nervy at the start. You can understand that's a semi final. Uh, Cash your race, he'll get the ball into the box, but there you go. That, that, that says everything. I mean, uh, I mean, this is him down the wing. Look at this for a bit of skill here in a minute. If it's the one, it was, uh, there was one bit of skill. It's probably the, the next one. A minute he flicks it over over the defender's head. It's unbelievable. Even the casual race or substitutes are going. Oh, I'll tell you what, you know he's really enjoying it out there now. So we'll just keep looking at the opportunities uh, in this first half and the ones we picked out. It's mainly, you know, it's Rangers who've been threatening all the way through that first 45, Nick. Yeah, you can't you can't just sit back with Cashew, not at all. You know, they've opted to. I mean, the fact that most of the first half is who's getting possession. You know, both sides are wonderful in possession, but 
the, the side which is more positive is, is, is Rangers, and that's why they got the reward. There have been times when we've seen Rangers getting forward. One thing that Cashew, look, look, look how quickly they get back then. Suddenly, there's eight, eight, nine yellow shirts in the area. Yeah, that's what it, the, the only thing what I thought before that is when you look at Kennedy and you see Lyle, uh, sometimes I'd like to see him get out on the touchline, really out on the touchline, like on, on where, the, where the whites are on your boot and get the ball straight to them. Don't go via the full-back, get it straight to him so they get a one-on-one -on -one and they look like they can cause some problems with that. I think that... This was, what, this was a fantastic chance, by the way. Yeah, brilliantly worked, fantastic down the, the right side. But just going back to what I'm saying there, get out wide, get them to the wingers as early as possible, the ball, you know, and then just let them run at the full-backs. And I think they'll have a lot of joy uh, in that respect. But this yeah, was McKinnon well with the header there, but it was, it was Coombs again who'd made it with that wonderful pullback. Uh, under pressure. Here it is. Oh. Again, you know, how quickly they come back, Kashi will race off. Make it very difficult, they do. But they, you know, that's why there is so much of a tough side to play against. Their work, work ethic, you know, the way they play as a team is very difficult and you've got to break them down. You know, that's the, that's the most difficult thing. And once you do that, I mean, look at this here now. Here's, look at this for a bit of skill there. How good is that there? How good is that? It's a fantastic bit of skill there. His awareness of knowing where the defender is, flicking it over his head and then volleying the ball across the, uh, across the goal. He's, uh, they're starting to enjoy it out there now. And rightly so, because they've had to work and they've had to keep going until the opening came. And when they got that first goal, then they went on and got the second goal. All of a sudden, then they, you know, they can not relax, but they can, it, 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 it's paying off the, the work, what they're doing. But it's a, tri it's a difficult score line now how many times do we see a 2-0 come back so let's enjoy the second goal again by Coombs there's a mistake again by the defender and Coombs gets it and just watch him here three players around him he knows exactly what he's doing gets into the box can I get me shot off of course I can there look at the power there keeping not a chance at all and what a fantastic finish and it's rounded off a fantastic performance by him working hard for the team first and foremost which he said in the interview before you know, but all of a sudden, when he gets down to the area of scoring goals, that's where he comes alive. Uh, OK, they've got one foot in the final at the moment. Two goals to nil at half-time. Uh, David McCallum, uh, the head coach, we spent uh, plenty of time over the last 10 days speaking to him. He's been very honest. He's been in the studio with us here. Uh, right, what's, what's he saying to them at half-time now? It, Keeping <laughs> this focus, you know, they're, they're almost there in the final. Yeah, same again. Same again. As far as you're concerned, it's nil-nil. You've, you've got to have that attitude. But it's very difficult because you automatically relax a little bit in your, in your mind. You think, well, it's 2-0, we're OK now. It just takes that little bit. Of, if you relax a little bit too much, cash your race, or could get a goal, and all of a sudden you, get, you struggle to get that get going again. So it's about being professional now. Uh, they're going to come and have a go at you. You know, but just you've got to stick together and you've got to keep that. You have to keep your mind focused with Cashew because they're going to come out and they're not going to lay down this second half. And obviously, if Rangers can get the next goal, then that, that, that should be really more or less it. Well, Shin Yamanaka, the uh, Kashiwa Resol head coach, uh, has sent the team out uh, very early. Kashiwa have been out there and there they are. Uh, in fact, Rangers are out now. We're all set for the second half. So let's hand you back to Chris Makin and Mark Tompkins. Yeah, Kashira have been out uh, about five minutes or so. I think Shin Yamanaka finished his team talk in the, the little huddle, but they've been trying to just get some solace at half time and try and work out a way they're going to get back into this one. But when you look at the way Kashira play, it's not their style, is it, Chris, having to no. chase a game. Once they go behind, it's very, very difficult for them to try and get back into the match. And Rangers, well, we know how they blitzed their Toa Sportive at the start of the second half, so. If they start like that and get another goal, then you can almost say Rangers will, will be in the final. They've got to give it a go, Cashewood is not... <laughs> you know, they're forced into going forward now, because otherwise they, they, they go out of the semi-final stage. And it's, there's something strange about a 2 0 scoreline in football. It always has been. It's a weird situation to be in, because maybe 2 0 up as a defensive unit, you normally drop off a little bit, subconsciously trying to keep that lead. McKinnon, for a shot of the second half straight into the arms of Sasaki. And if you're 2-0 down like Kashi would are, you start taking risks and you're trying to get back in the side and you're going forward a lot more, you have a much more attacking frame of mind. But could work to Rangers' advantage that they might leave more gaps at the back. And the way Rangers play, a very tight-minded side, they could really 
sack those gaps up as you leave. Chase on here for Nakajima. He did well with the ball in the corner, Tamura. Gets to the byline and gets the crossover. It's over everybody though, Saito. Otake. Shigawara. Rangers have kept them out well, pressed them back up to halfway. Tanaka. Kennedy. Now Tanaka slightly out of position. Nicely played. Miller. Young Coombs. McClelland. Fantastic play by Rangers then. Really opened up the pitch. And Miller just left the ball behind. So it's nice that the coverage of these games is going around the world on Facebook. I know Rangers website showing the game. I'm sure in Japan, people will be looking on as well. Much later in the evening, of course, in Japan. You just see people sitting at their desks at work, can't you, with their computers on, with their headphones in, trying to work while they've got the stream, the live stream of the match on the computer. It's fantastic showing what all the people out there, what good players these Rangers, uh, these players are at Rangers. How many players have we seen come from this tournament? I want to make a, a great career. Hopefully there's, um, there's a few from this Rangers team here today that go on and make the debuts for Rangers. Love to see that. I know Steven Gerrard's been in touch with David McCallum since he's been here, and I'm sure Craig Mulholland as well, the head of the academy, who's here as well. I'm sure he's probably watching the game as well. So the Rangers players, I think, are watching, hopefully enjoying the performance from that. Young stars of the future. Nakajima away by Thompson. Young Coombs. Yeah. yeah no. Tanaka just got there ahead of Lyle. Yeah, it's important that McClellan, the captain today for Rangers, organises his defence. Don't allow those gaps. Cover each other. his midfield is sorted in front of him. Get the full backs in. Just don't want any gaps for Ashiwa to penetrate. Whatever happens here, both teams will have another match. The losers will play in the third and fourth place playoff. Lovely ball with the outside of the boot from Kennedy. Young Coombs, the angle's tight. He might just have to wait for support. It's arriving now. He might not oh. need it. Sasaki gathers. Brave goalkeeping. Just tried to cut inside Young Coombs. Lyle was arriving, but great ball from Kennedy. That's your pass. That is the pass for Rangers in the second half. You presume they're going to be under a little bit of pressure. Coombs will run the channels all day long, just slide it down the side. Lyle coming in off the opposite flank then. Coombs just didn't see him. McKinnon as ever, he's always a goal threat. He makes those late runs into the penalty box. Tamura, good challenge. Thompson that time, fantastic, went to ground, won the ball for Rangers. Fujimoto. Comes off Henderson. They're having a little bit of pressure at the start of this second half, Kashiwa Raisal. Shinya Manaka, I'm sure, would have read them the riot act at half-time. You can expect it, just, um, just keep tight here. There's McClellan in the centre there, just... Rousing his troops, getting them going. Don't panic. Enjoy defending these situations. Spartak Moscow coach looking on. His side will play in the fifth and sixth place match tomorrow against Real Madrid. Well done, McClellan. Well done. And Todder was the man trying to put him under pressure. As is the fashion these days, no men on the post when you when you defend in the corner. It's comfortable, but Anaskis, but Anaskis rather just allowing that to hit the side netting. The spire play starting to trickle in as well ahead of their semi-final next against AS Roma. Another intriguing matchup between two very different teams. 
Wonderful setting for this tournament here at Aspire Zone. A little bit quieter than it was yesterday with National Sports Day going on. But nevertheless, still a, a real hive of activity. Lots of football going on the pitches at the back. And uh, former coach of Aspire International who has guided them to the trophy, working with some of the juniors here. It's been an impressive debut so far. Five new teams entered the cup this year, or entered the tournament this year. Rangers, the only ones left in terms of the semi-finals. Long ball out by Sasaki, good header by McClelland. A free kick. Watching that at all, is it? Slips over there, the cashable player. Won't have any contact these days. Love that shout, there's contact. <laughs> Whatever that means. <laughs> the football hasn't yet become a non contact sport as far as I'm aware. Virtually there, Matt. We're nearly there. Budanowskis just spills it. That's heady goal. Oh, goal was by Shimizu. And then Okahara can't get a good touch on it, so Budanowskis able to gather. These Rangers players will go back to playing in their respective groups. This under-17 team was made up of the under-18s and under-16s. Here's Thompson. Kennedy. All sorts of noises on this. <laughs> I told I told you one of the Rangers What's fans. He got a, he got a loud hailer. I told you. Is that him? Yes, that's him. He's Kennedy. <laughs> Twisting and turning. Can he get the crossover, Kennedy? No, oh, he's done well. Back to Henderson. Headed out as far as McKinnon. Still, they can't get a shot in a real. Bunch of bodies on the edge of the area. Henderson. Miller. Well done, Henderson just stood his ground there, didn't dive in. Now he's won the ball back for Rangers. Then in the casual half. Get that ball moving. I haven't got a clue what he's singing over there. Miller. Henderson. With a loud hailer, he'll be oh, okay. It on here. He'll, be okay else he'll, now. he'll be okay if we need some crowd control. Oh, he wants it back, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That. They're enjoying themselves. So there were only a couple of Rangers fans here for the first match, but the buzz soon got round. Obviously disappointed in the second game against the Spire, but that 7 0 win over Etoile. And now leading Kashiwa here by two goals to nil. Offside flag against Kashiwa, so it'll be a free kick to Rangers. I'm not sure that was offside. Tanaka. Shugawara, keen to make up for the error for that own opening goal when he slipped and allowed in Lyle. Sayato. Oh. Nakajima weaving his way through. Good defending again by McClelland. I'll tell you what, the referee didn't give the uh, free kick. Put the whistle to her mouth, was you going to blow it? Play on, maybe advantage, that's a foul, that, isn't it? 
A reminder, VAR can only be used for big decisions. Like that, great skill. Just cuts across. Does he get, oh, no, he gets a touch on it, yeah. I think. Sorry, got that one wrong. Well done, Bella. And the referee did have a whistle in her mouth. Yeah. She thought, maybe thought about blowing and changed her mind. Yeah, those big decisions, goals, fouls or offsides in the build-up to a goal. Uh, penalty decisions, red card decisions or mistaken identity are the four criteria for using VAR. As yet, it hasn't needed to be called upon in this game. Got used to good effect last night in one of the playoff games when Destan's goal was originally ruled out for offside, but VAR showed that he was onside. Here comes Young Coombs again. Get into the byline, did brilliantly. Pulls it back to the edge of the area. Dixon! Brock just in front of goal. O'Connor, great chance for Rangers. Yeah, it's good to see, even on a 2-0 up. They're still creating chances here, Rangers. Kennedy, little flick out to Henderson. Thompson. Still can't get used to seeing a number 10 as a central defender. Yes, Roma in the next one have got the same as well, Chiucci. There's number 10, the captain, here's Kennedy. Brilliant footwork again, and he's blocked oh, the he's challenge, he's got, he's got a got great it. chance, he just span away from him. Young Coombs! Blocked once again, too many yellow shirts back behind the ball, good persistence by Kennedy. It's Dixon again! Oh, he no. takes a deflection and goes for a corner, good pressure this from Rangers. Looking on the door, aren't they? It's a little bit more from Cashman in this second half, but it's um, still ranges the chances. Dixon had a couple of shots in that particular passage of play. <laughs> Rangers corner. Taken short, McKinnon. Trying to manoeuvre them, the yellow shirts about, aren't they? So many back there for Cashew when they, when they defend the corner, flood the penalty area with yellow I shirts. Think, is it ball through again to Dixon? I think it's a good point not to just play the corner into the box because 90% of the time Cashew will just head the ball away. So you have to probably try and be a little bit cleverer with that many people back behind the ball. Once you bring them out, then you create a little bit of space for players to work in. Well, they've done that, haven't they, Rangers? Done it yeah. quite well as well. I say one of the things they were working on this morning was set pieces. Just trying to just pull those Kashiwa players out of position. There's Tanaka. Dave McCallum must be so pleased with his players. What a performance again. Keeping a high level. Nathan Youngcombs is down injured. Kashiwa's sporting, he put the ball out of play so he can get some treatment. A lot of pain there, isn't he? He's not he even looks moving. To be in a lot of pain. Holding his groin there, that's not a good sign. Bit of cold water on it. Oh, this is just a footing. Right, so you might see it from here. Is there a little... Oh, yes. Oh, no. Just Fujimoto, as he fell, just raked the studs down the inside of his groin, which... very painful. As you said, when you've seen the studs on these modern boots, that would have uh, come a little sharp. He's OK, though. Nathan Young Coombs. He was attracting quite a lot of interest from other clubs in England before he opted to go for Rangers. That he was. Interesting to see you know, Stephen Gerrard looking on, likes to bring young talent through. He'll certainly, I think, get a chance at a higher level this season, whether it be up to the under-20s, the development squad maybe, or the reserves, who knows. Certainly want to keep an eye on Nathan Young Coombs. But they have reserves now, I think. They do, yeah. They have, yeah. Some do. I don't think in England they have it as much as they used to, the old football combination. We should play the Central League. The Central League, that's it. Pontins League, I think. The Pontins, Pontins League, yeah. Liverpool, United. 
Because you see the Everton. You used to get big crowds for Because, I mean, the reserves back in the old days used to be the players that didn't play in the yeah. first. So it, it, was, it was yeah. fringe players. It so you so were seeing good quality players. Yeah. Sometimes played on a Saturday. Playing at Old Trafford once. Playing against Levels. United Reserves at Old Trafford, Sean Dolce played. Feed the goat. Sean Dolce, oh yeah. Slightly left for United, eh? Kennedy. Running at Fujimoto. Did brilliantly well. Oh, there we go. In. And Rangers have got a third. Well, it's tough once again. On Kashiwa race on his come off Okahara. But Kai Kennedy will claim it for his second goal of the tournament, scored in the opening game against Raja, and surely now Rangers are heading through to the final. Brilliantly done, they've kept the pressure on in this second half, they haven't let Kashiwa get at them, and they've approached this in a really positive fashion. Well, he's positive, he just runs at the defender there, doesn't get closed down, gets his shots off, obviously gets a deflection on the way through, but he deserves it. But his positive play there, and now Rangers have gone 3-0 up, and this, I'll tell you what, could be a heavy scoreline, the way Rangers are playing. Cashward having no input going forward, it's all about Rangers now. Well, they gifted Rangers a first, an unfortunate deflection for Okihara for the second, but Rangers won't care how they go in. They've scored three. They've deserved it. Created a couple of chances again in the, in the second period. 14 goals in four matches, Rangers, just one conceded. Uh, just three conceded, rather, so far. Double substitution now for Kashiwa. It's Mai who scored the goal in the opening game in stoppage time that's coming on. Shimizu, one of those that's going off. And Sugawara's gone off as well. And Yuname has come on. So Yuname making a third appearance off the bench. <coughs> Mai has come off the bench in all four games so far. So he'll go up front alongside Nakajima. Nakashima have got themselves a corner. Rangers' defence has stood firm so far. Clean sheet against Etoile in the quarter-finals. Everybody back defending. Budanowskis with a good punch away. Back in by Tamura. Just out of the reach of Saito. And it will go for a Rangers goal kick. Well, you never know what's going to happen in football. You really don't turn at any stage of the match. But at the moment, not to say it's looking really comfortable for Rangers. Three goals to the good. Still coming forward, creating chances, which has been really impressive. Yeah, Aaron Lyle and Nathan Youngcombe's got the goals in the first half. Kai Kennedy with a third. Pretty certain that will go to Kennedy. I don't think he will go as an own goal. The shot was heading on target, which is normally the criteria. Fujimoto. Mai. Fujimoto. Mai well, wanted it played back to him. Toda. Okihara. Turn by Saito. Yuna made the substitute. Again, Rangers will tidy it up once again. Given away though to Toda. Adam Miller made a couple of good tackles or interceptions, whatever you want to call it. And they feel then just disrupting Kashiwa. Here he goes again. Good energy from Miller. Kojima, well done. Dixon that time with a challenge. Yeah, didn't dive in, stood his ground, forced him away from goal. Clever play from Dixon. Keep McKinnon rather can't quite keep it in play. Everyone's playing the part tonight. McKinnon was outstanding then. 
not letting any of the yellow shirts settle. The 20 yard run to pulls the ball down. We'll switch on now. Fujimoto. Time Henderson not letting the cross go in. We're doing the basics right at the moment, Rangers now. Budanowskis just organising his defenders. Good to see vocal goalkeepers. It's a big claim as well. It looks like those Japanese supporters are going to be. Disappointed yet again. Seen their side lose a couple of times in the quarterfinals. Beaten finalists last year. AS Roma against the Spire Academy to come a little bit later on in the second of the day semi-finals. Tomorrow, two matches which could be quite interesting. The battle for the lower placings. Fifth and sixth place match. Real Madrid against Spartak is the later game. And Etoile Sportive against Alta Nordo for seventh and eighth place. Screams have gone up again. Into the final quarter of the match. Well played by McClelland. O'Connor. Young Coombs. Oh, well played. Henderson. Fabulous play for the Rangers. Switching the play. Kennedy once again will tease the Kashiwa defence and get to the byline. Fujimoto got back to concede the corner. Teasing him now, Kai Kennedy. Full back then. Good block in the end. It's a good option having a, a right footed player playing wide on the left because you have that option just to cut back inside and. Get that ball arrowing in towards the goalkeeper. Here's Dixon. Henderson. Kennedy again. Trying to entice Kashiba out. Taking on Nakajima this time. Stuck to his guns though. Tamura. Got foul, just keep it there. Just caught there. Free kick to the Japanese. There are plenty of youth internationals within this Rangers squad, not just Scotland, but also Northern Ireland as well. So we're going to see a, a first change from Rangers. Who's from Northern Ireland? I'll tell you in a second. Yeah. Matt Yates is coming on. Oh God. Good hold up play once again. Chris McKee who scored that hat trick the other night. Yeah. Northern Irish. Right. McCausland who got the head injury is also a Northern Ireland Youth International. Charlie Allen as well, who we've seen come on a couple of times, is also Northern Ireland. There we go, but on it, but on it, Rangers, he can move the ball quickly. Young Coombs. Oh, he just needed to touch it to Lyle on his right then. And Tanaka stood his ground well. Adam Devine is coming on as well. So a double change coming up for Rangers in a moment with under 20 minutes to go, leading 3-0. Here's Fujimoto. A bit of a shooting chance, tried to thread it through for May. Straight through to Budinowskis. 
Hasn't had a serious save to make, I don't think, Budinowskis in the game so far. Just regulation stuff, which he's done well. McKinnon. Great play. Did well again. Henderson. Kennedy. A little bit of a battle going on between Guy Kennedy and Fujimoto. Last ten minutes. Good to see. And Fujimoto got the better of that exchange a, a moment ago. Yeah, Fujimoto. More of an attacking sense. Kennedy this time on defensive duty. Okihara. And his deflection led to the third goal. Tanaka. And back again by Rangers. Lyle. Low centre of gravity. Really good when he's got the ball at his feet. Aaron Lyle. What a run. O'Connor. Dixon. Still doing everything right, aren't they? The, the Rangers players. Passing the ball quickly. They're almost playing Kishiwa at their own game because Kishiwa played Real Madrid the other night. That's the kind of pass passing they were using. We've got good passing, keeping possession. And, uh, Kai Kennedy and Coombs and Lyle, they've got great dribbling ability. Just gives them another asset as well. Here come the changes. It's the captain. McClellan that's going off to be replaced by Adam Devine. Not well today. And Nathan Young Coombs is coming off to be replaced by Matt Yates. Both played well. Everyone, everyone's played well today for Rangers. Been the complete team performers. Yeah, important players in the final, McClellan and Coombs. Coombs just been urged to hurry up by the referee. That's game over, don't you? Yates waiting to come on. Scored the consolation goal in the 3-1 defeat to Aspire Academy. Sold him up. Don't dive in there. Thompson. Captain's armband on now. Henderson's gone down now. And a timely challenge then. He's, he's really struggling there in the box. Hope he's okay. He's away by Miller. Here's Devine. Referee will stop play so that Henderson can get some treatment. Looks like O'Connor's gone into centre back position. You don't want to see any Rangers player miss the final because of an injury. I hope he's going to be OK, Anderson. The tunnel is out again. <laughs> he's, the guy's out, he's in between doing a, a song and a speech. <laughs> <laughs> he's certainly making, <laughs> making himself... No one's uh, joining in. <laughs> I'm sure they know the words. He doesn't. There was the challenge in the box that saw Maï take a tumble. That was where Hendry picked, Henderson picked up the injury. Here's the goal from Kennedy. Flicked in off Okahara. He gets a slice of luck, but he deserves it. He ran straight at Fujimoto then. Beats the full back. Shots on target. Just forget the goals. Let's listen to this Tanoi. <laughs> this guy with a Tanoi. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's a school, there's a lot of school kids over there looking at him. Who's this guy here? <laughs> I was teasing ah, the Tsushima <laughs> race all fans with the scoreline. Because she will return the ball back to Rangers as they had to clear out a play for treatment. There is the man making all the noise. Go ahead. 
And she's gone now. Someone's took the, someone else has took over now, yeah, look. <laughs> nice to see Rangers wearing shirts with the Rangers Youth Development logo on as well. We are going to see another change. Oh, Penderson's OK for the final. Next side! Next side! Brian Muir, he's going to come on for a third substitute appearance. As Yates tussling away, oh, gives the free kick. It gives the free kick away, rather. Here comes the chase. So Henderson will play no further part. So that's not too serious. Is this it? No, that's the foul. Oh, that's so sudden, that's sudden. Yeah, I think it's Mai Feli just sort of trod on his ankle as he fell back in the penalty area. Yamanaka can only look on and hope that his side could get something in consolation, really. Yeah, looks like it's the right ankle that's the problem for Henderson. Had a good game, though, for Rangers. Away by O'Connor. O'Connor's gone to the left of the two centre-backs with the captain's armband on. And McClellan came off. Fujimoto's throw. into Rangers. What a wonderful occasion it's going to be for these um, Rangers players on Friday. All the teams normally turn up and watch from the stands as well as all the fans, so it's a great atmosphere. The pressure's there as well, the chance to win this trophy for the first time as well. Mai. Brilliant strike, oh. what a goal that is! Kashima Racer have got one back, no chance for Budenowskis. And that's one of the goals of the tournament from the Kashima substitute. Hiditeka Mai with a vicious shot into the top corner. And Kashima have got a goal back. What a strike this is from Mai. Incredible, he gets on the turn here. Guilty maybe of overplaying, but that's a thunderous strike there from Mai. Normally you say, yeah, let him shoot from outside the box. Look at that one. It's a little bit of swerve on it as well. We and said the other day we hadn't seen too many shots from outside the box. Yeah. They've just got to be, just got to be a little bit streetwise now, Rangers. See out this game. Make sure you clear the lines, get up the pitch. Well, scored with his first touch to get a point against PSG. Mai. Is that? That was a well-taken goal as well. That one made the yeah. top five from the group, didn't it? I'm sure it'll be replaced the... by that one. He was in there for a couple of days, isn't he? Yeah. One touch with the bottom of the boot and then a flick with the outside of the right foot into the top corner. Yuname. Well, this is good experience, especially for the boys that have come on as substitutes the last few minutes. Kennedy, Yates in the centre. Kennedy might go on his own here. It's Kennedy weaving away through, gets a oh! shot in! No deflections needed this time for Kai Kennedy. Yates was in support, but just minutes after Kashima Raisol got a goal back, Rangers have restored the three-goal cushion, and it's a second goal of the night for Kai Kennedy, and he too is proving what a talent he could be. Just like Metalia for Spartak Moscow. You don't know whether he's going to cut in on his right foot and take the shots on or go to his left foot and maybe put the cross in, but this time he takes the shots on with his left foot, goes to the far post, does everything right. And that probably wraps up the game for Rangers now. What a result this is. Well, we perhaps hadn't expected them to score seven in the game against Etois. We certainly didn't see four coming against Kashiwa Raisol, but this Rangers side is a very, very talented bunch. And a very tenacious bunch as well. Great spirit. They're going to make another couple of changes. Larry's going to come on, who we've been impressed with. He of the, uh, the flowing locks. And Charlie Allen as well. 
So one of those Northern Ireland internationals about to come on. Here's Fujimoto. Away from Kennedy. Good play, Fujimoto. Nakajima. Blocked by Thompson. Yeah, so many subs being made now by both sides, and sometimes you do lose your shape. Kashiwa making a change first. Dayashi Maeda coming on to replace Otake. So pushing extra man up front here. Kashiwa corner into the near post, bouncing across goal. It was missed by Budenowskis. And no one attacking the ball in the middle, and no one able to get a touch to get another goal back for Kashiwa Racel. So, so close. What a chance that was. Okihara. Todd Muir goes out of Fujimoto. Now, well, the Rangers double change will come. We have got two boards here to save a little bit of time. Larry coming on to replace Kai Kennedy. So two goals for Kennedy tonight. Another excellent performance from him. So Larry's the man coming on. And Aaron Lyle who scored the opening goal, is coming off to be replaced by Charlie Allen. So all five changes made now by David McCallum. Charlie Allen, another of those Northern Ireland and the 16 internationals. Not seeing Chris McKee tonight, scored a hat-trick in the last game, he can't even get on the field at the moment. Not needed in a goal-scoring sense tonight, though. Mai. Yuname. Well done. Good anticipation there. Mo Connor in the heart of that Rangers defence. by McKinnon. Allen. He's got Devine outside him. Yates and Larry now in the middle. Good ball across. Yates is the intended target. Away by Okahara. Larry! Oh, didn't set himself for the shot. Well, White. Larry. Caught by Yuname. All the way through to Budanowskis. McKinnon. Allen. Lovely ball down the line for Devine. Two in the centre once again. Yates just coming short. It's Yates! Brilliant save, Sasaki. Great move again by Rangers. Yates cleverly pulled away from the last defenders and got the shot in on the turn. But the goalkeeper makes a wonderful save. Rangers corner inside the final five minutes. Larry goes across to take it. Hey, hey. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. It goes out of Charlie Allen. It'll be a Kashiwa throw. Thank <laughs> you. 
Devine. And the ball's gone out of play. Be a Rangers throw over on the far side. The Rangers, barring any disasters, are heading for the final. Final on Friday evening. They'll play either AS Roma or Aspire International, who play the second semi final. Kicks off in about 30 minutes' time. Uh, 45 minutes' time, rather. 7 o'clock local time. Mai. Gone for a corner. Dixon with a challenge. So we talk about the likes of Kennedy and Lyle, the goal scorers, Young Coombs, but Dixon and Miller and McKinnon, those three central midfielders have really played their part as well in just stifling Kashiwa race all through the middle. In swinging corner, Budanowskis gathers. Balled out quickly to Lowry. That's a poor touch. Allows Nakajima in. Good tackle though. Lowry. Tried to bend it around the last defender for Yates. I'll go all the way through to Sasaki. The Rangers obviously, there's the one downside is they haven't managed to keep a clean sheet. But you can't legislate for my short strike from the, the distance it was hit. But Anaska's got a hand to it, but keep the ball out of play, out of the net. But take nothing away from what's been another excellent Rangers performance. Aaron Lyle started the scoring, Nathan Youngkim's made it two before half time. Two from Kennedy. In between those two Kennedy goals, my East strike. Rangers leading by four goals to one. And last year's beaten finalists are going to have to play for third and fourth place this year. Tamura. Fujimoto. We'll try the little back heel. Yuname. Tudor. Okahara, his deflection led to the third goal. Yes, Fujimoto. Well, Rangers will win the ball back, it's poor touch from Maeda. Now they'll break with pace, Dixon. Alan outside him, here is Alan, gets to the byline, takes a deflection and wins a corner. Good play going wide by Charlie Allen, couldn't get the angle for the shot, good defending by Kashiwa. That's another corner which Alex Lowry will take. Well, that little band of Rangers fans, I'm sure, will be here again on Friday. It's the, the start of the weekend here as well, Friday. Hopefully there'll be a few more. There were a few more. The Rangers game on Sunday against Etois. Here's McKinnon. Muir. Miller all the way back to Budinaskas. O'Connor. the goalkeeper and again under pressure from Mai, but coolly done. O'Connor. Miller. Devine. Budanowskis. Two minutes at a time at the end of the 90. Possibly a little bit surprising that it's uh, that low with all the substitutions, but two minutes it is. Miller. Budanowskis. It's time to wait for someone to come short. No need to hoof the ball long. You don't see goalkeepers kicking long much these days. Lovely ball over the top. Okahara just got a header on it. Only as far as Dixon. Dixon strike! Just wide. Well, they're all trying to get in on the act now for Rangers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Matt Yates just getting a telling off for the referee as the ball came back off the boards and he put it into the empty net. O'Connor's header on by Yunamay. Mai away by Thompson. Little flick again. Charlie Allen's in behind here. He's all on his own. Larry on the edge of the box. Larry! The substitutes combine for another goal. And there is no stopping Rangers. 12 goals in their last two matches. Alex Lowry gets today's fifth, and Kashima Raisol are well beaten here. They didn't see much chance of him getting space for the shot with that many yellow shirts, but he squeezed it between the defenders. The ball back was perfect by, from Allen, and Lowry makes it 5 1. And Rangers are going through to the final in emphatic style. All smiles, Alex Lowry. Well, there goes the whistle. It's the last kick of the match. And Rangers are into the final of the Alcas International Cup. They have torn apart last year's beaten final.